So you're thinking about moving to Redmond, Washington, and you wanna see what the city is like from a map perspective. Well, I'm gonna show you just that in the video coming up. Hi, my name's Jonathan Martis with North Pacific Real Estate. I'm a local real estate broker in the area, and I've been doing real estate for over seven years now. And I'm gonna show you what the city of Redmond is like from a map perspective so you can get a better understanding of the layout and what cities it's next to. And also, if you have not seen my other video showing the drive through the city of Redmond and also the neighborhood tour, then you'll wanna check that out as well because it'll help put this into perspective a little better when you watch all of those videos. You'll get a much better handle on what it's like in the city of Redmond in Washington. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the outline of the city of Redmond. There will be parts outside of this line that are still uh, with a Redmond address, but this will just give us a, uh, a cleaner way to kind of look at the city from an um, outline perspective. But I'm gonna show you some properties from the price point. I won't show you the photos because on the MLS I'm not allowed to for active listings. But if you go on my website at the link below in the description, you can search for homes as well. But I'll go ahead and give you some of the details to give you an idea of what the houses are like. Okay. Let's zoom out and let's look at it from a further perspective. Seattle is here and here's Bellevue. Some people are familiar with Bellevue, others are not. It's a rather large city, has a pretty good downtown, second largest in the area here after Seattle. But from Seattle to get into Redmond, if you were to start in Seattle, you could take the 520 bridge, which is a toll bridge, Highway 520. You take that in, you'll get through into Bellevue and you continue into Redmond. If you take the I-90 freeway, which is here, you take that across east, go past Mercer Island, and then you'll take 405 north, and then you can take 520 into the city of Redmond. South of Redmond is gonna be Bellevue. You'll have Sammamish here, and you'll have Kirkland on the west side, and then Kirkland will be in this area as well. So that's an idea of how it's laid out and what cities are near it. Let's look a little closer now. And we're gonna look at the downtown Redmond area. Downtown Redmond, you're gonna have a lot of different shops, restaurants, a lot of condos and apartments there. Um, and also Old Town Redmond as well, which is frequented by many people. Very walkable, easy to ride uh, your bike. You want to jog as well and it's a great place where people like to hang out and spend some time just to give you an idea on uh, price points on some of these homes or condos we have one here let me zoom in this one is about six hundred twenty-five thousand. it's a one bed one bath for 800 uh, has 883 square feet that's gonna be around 625 now these will be newer, uh, this one is newer, but there's also a house here. It's three bed, one and three quarter bath, a little over 1,600 square feet for 1.4 million. And you'll find renovated houses here, even if they're older, many of them at times will be renovated or if people buy them, they will renovate them after. And of course, the main thing with Redmond is Microsoft. Many people call it Microsoft Town. So if you work at Microsoft or if you uh, plan on possibly working there in the future, then Redmond is great because you can be close to work. Now going back to the street view or from the uh, map perspective, looking at streets instead of satellite, as you come down 520, you're gonna, you're gonna come down 520, eventually enter Redmond. You're gonna have a lot of the Microsoft buildings in this section here. So that's where many of the buildings will be if you work at Microsoft. So that's where the big concentration of the buildings are. This is Lake Sammamish, and you're gonna have Marymore Park here. This is a huge park uh, with baseball fields, soccer fields, uh, there's a dog park there. Um, very popular place for people to go, and plenty of things to do there. Also, if you enjoy golfing there's a golf course here at trilogy so there's going to be a golf course where you can play and uh, there's homes there as well so let me see if i can 
exit out of the yeah there we go exit out of the city limits we look at some houses here 975,000 two bed one and three quarter bath a little shy of 1600 square feet you have another one for uh, about 1.4 million two bed two and a half bath a little over 2300 square feet and you'll have one here for close to 2.4 one bed 2.25 baths 1900 a little over 1900 square feet the price points here they're going to be more expensive for what you get from a size of a house perspective um, people that do want to live near the golf course will you know definitely want to uh, live in this area but to show you from a street view perspective we'll do that soon so you can see what it's like on some of these roads and in these neighborhoods this is novelty hill road northeast novelty hill road it'll continue going northeast and you know this is going to get more in some areas where the houses aren't as um, close together so i'll show you a satellite view here so you can get an idea as you go further out you'll see that there's going to be more open space there will be a concentration of homes here at the trilogy golf course and community the neighborhood and it's a really nice place to be really great community as well and you'll see as you go further east it's going to be more farmland and more of that separation between the different um, housing developments i was referencing earlier where many of the microsoft buildings will be and you'll see them here this is where the concentration of them will be and then downtown redmond and old town redmond as well they have a um, shopping center here in Redmond as well Redmond uh, shopping center sorry Redmond town center and you can go shopping you can go to a restaurant you can watch a movie um, there's a fitness center there so that's a, a place people will frequent as well in the city of Redmond let's go ahead and look at a street view of some of these areas There's also a Costco. They do have a Costco in Redmond. So let's let's look at, let me show you Trilogy really quick. Okay, so this is Trilogy at Redmond Ridge. This was where we looked at some of those houses earlier. Go ahead and expand this. Let's get into some of these communities. You're not going to find a lot of large homes here. Um, you know, people they want to if they're retired or they don't want as much space, but they want to live on a golf course. This is a great place to do that. So that's why some of those houses I was referencing earlier, they didn't have five, six bedrooms. You know, they're they're smaller, but it's okay because. A lot of people enjoy living in this community. There's other parts of Trilogy that will have larger homes um, with many bedrooms and bathrooms as well. Okay, these are gonna be homes with larger lots, more space. Let's zoom out so you can see. Uh, that's as far as it'll let me zoom out, but you can, you can see here where downtown Redmond is. Go east a little bit. And it's going to be uh, south of Novelty Hill Road. All right, let's look at a couple more. Let's look at the downtown area there's gonna be a lot of condos and apartments there this will be at the Redmond uh, Town Center let me come on across this way go into downtown a little bit more and then also let me, let me come this way Yeah, 
apartments. So you'll see a lot of apartments, condo buildings. They've been putting a lot of them in. And Southeast Redmond, they've been adding a lot more as well. So you'll see them going up, you'll see cranes, and um, as many places as they can put you know, more housing, they, they do want to, because Microsoft's con con constantly growing and they're adding buildings and they need a place for people to live. So you'll be seeing that uh, more often. Here's the Costco. I went in a few years ago, I believe five or six years ago. And then also the lake here at Marymore Park. And it's a large lake. Goes all the way south to where Issaquah is. Lake Sammamish State Park is a huge park where a lot of people will go. Um, that's not in Redmond, but it is connected for, it's the same lake. All right. Let me show you some of the public transit and then also the bike trails. This will just show you different bus stops, where they're at within the city. As you can see, there's plenty of them. It's a few bucks per ride. I believe per day it's a little under $10. So you'll be able to get wherever you need to go. From a biking perspective, you'll have plenty of options. The great thing about the Northwest is if you like to ride your bike, jog or run, there's plenty of trails for that. So you can see here in Redmond, you can take the bike trail all the way south along Lake Sammamish. It goes into Issaquah, it goes far east as well, and into Snoqualmie. Also, you can take it into Bellevue area, up north into Kirkland, and then all the way across the 520 into Seattle, and up north into Seattle. So you have plenty of options if you wanna ride your bike or take a jog. That's one great thing about this area is you won't have any shortage of places to to do that. All right, I hope that was helpful for you to get an idea of what the city of Redmond is like from a map perspective. If you're looking to move into the Redmond area or the greater Seattle area, give me a call or shoot me a text at the number below and I'd be happy to help you out with that. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see future content, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, don't forget I have some other videos specifically on Redmond on my channel, so don't forget to check those out as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.